In this video, we will be creating a show more and show less interaction for an extended product description. We'll get familiar with show and hide actions in the case editor. We're now going to look at showing and hiding objects. You may, for example, want to show and hide modal windows over the top of a page, for example. The first thing to mention for existing users is that you no longer need to convert to a dynamic panel before you are able to show or hide an object. In fact, you can do quite a lot in version 7 without having to convert widgets to dynamic panels. If you are an existing user, you may find this a difficult habit to grow out of. You should only convert to a dynamic panel if you want to create more than one visible state of an object. To demo show and hide, we're going to create a show more, show less interaction on our product description. So let's open our product one page. We're going to show only the first few lines of this paragraph initially, and then allow the user to see more when they click on a link. So let's double click on the text widget, then select the text that we want to cut out. Press Control X. Deselect and hit Ctrl V to paste. It will create another widget of the same type by default. Let's resize the width of our new text to 400 pixels in order to match our first paragraph. We now need to be able to refer to our widgets to permit interaction, so let's name them. Let's call the first paragraph Product Description Intro. and the second product description body. We need to hide our description body widget. We'll select it and check hidden from the widget style tab. You can also right click on the widget to do this. We are going to need a control to show and hide our description body, so let's drag out a label widget and write some instructional text in there, something like read more. Let's name our control so that we can add interaction and let's call it body description control. Now let's add some interaction. Select our body description control and double click on on click to open the case editor. Let's first add a case description. Hide product description body would be appropriate. Okay, let's introduce the case editor properly now. The link that we added earlier was rather simplistic in comparison. We have three panes. One is for adding actions. The next is for organizing the actions for this case. You can add multiple actions and the order is important, especially for timed actions. You can drag and drop to arrange the order in which actions are executed. The third pane is for choosing which objects will use the action and how. For now, let's focus on a simple show hide action on one widget. We need to specify the widget that we want to show or hide in the right panel. We'll find our description body widget listed at the bottom of this panel. It's worth mentioning a few points here because finding widgets can become a little tricky. First up, the order. Widgets are listed in the same order as the widget manager, that is from front to back. You can do a search here, so if I start typing the widget name, it filters by those characters. Useful. Another helpful little tool is the hide unnamed checkbox. If you've been a little slack with your naming, clicking on this will filter out any unnamed and probably therefore unimportant widgets. Let's check our description body widget. You'll now see the default show hide options enabled underneath. It's defaulted to show our widget. And let's put a nice fade animation on there just because we can. Then click OK.
Now let's hit F5 and see our magic at work. Great. We've still got a few things to do to make this genuinely useful, however. We want to be able to hide the description body too, not just show it. Let's open our case again by selecting the label and double clicking our case. Now select our existing hide action. What we're going to do is change this to a toggle visibility action, i.e. switch back and forth, show and hide. Click OK. Press F5 to preview. OK, clicking now shows and hides our extended description. There's still more to be done to make this pattern nice. I want the message on the label to be different depending on the state of the interaction. That's coming up next.